This is your KCTV 5 News Update. A man who has spent four decades in prison for a triple murder he says he did not commit has a hearing later this afternoon. Kevin Strickland has been in prison for more than 40 years after his conviction in 1978. Prosecutor Jean Peters Baker is asking a court to release him. Today's hearing is largely procedural and a ruling is not expected. KCTV 5 is closely monitoring the legal action though. Strickland is the first prisoner who could be released under a new state law which allows prosecutors to bring cases back to court. Police in Harrisonville are investigating the city's first homicide in years. Around 2 this morning, someone stabbed a man in the parking lot of the quick trip on 291 Highway. He was taken to the hospital where he died. Police are investigating multiple crime scenes and have asked the Kansas City Metro squad to assist. And we are checking with the Missouri Highway Patrol to learn more about a fatal crash from early this morning on I-35 near Kearney. The accident involved a single vehicle on southbound 35 near 92 Highway. One person was killed. The wreck backed traffic up for hours this morning. In Platte County, a train hit and killed a man who was walking by railroad tracks overnight. The Platte County Sheriff's Office is investigating this incident. It happened just before 9 on the tracks near 45 Highway. Deputies have not released the man's name, but say he was 44 years old and lived in Independence. The Olathe East community is mourning the death of a popular coach from COVID-19. Over the weekend, the family of Chris Burnett shared the news on Facebook. He was just 34 years old. Today, the athletic director of Shawnee Mission East posted this message saying, quote, Nothing prepares you for this. Olathe East and the entire Olathe community lost a great coach and an even better man. Coach Burnett loved working with students and student athletes alike. This morning, doctors at the University of Kansas Health System talked about the coach's death. They praised his family who are encouraging others to get vaccinated now. The hospital currently has 82 active and recovering COVID patients, which is an improvement from last week. But the simple reality is the numbers are also declining across Kansas City. So I think that's a really good sign. So I like I'm hoping that the fourth wave is going to come to uh, it'll begin to ebb. Dr. Steve Stites cautioned the doctors saw an increase in COVID cases last September and October after school was back in session. It is too soon to say if it will happen again this year. Hello, I'm Bill Hurlbrink with your Monday afternoon weather update. First, a look at the allergy report because we've got pretty high levels of both pollen and mold here in the atmosphere. So vote those of you allergy sufferers, make sure you're treating yourself with your medication because it's pretty bad out there again for both pollen and mold. Ragweed and ascospores, uh, the main culprits there. Warm and windy conditions this afternoon. Temperatures in the mid to upper 80s and a pretty strong southerly wind between 10 to 15 miles per hour. It could see some gusts upwards of 20 to 25 miles per hour. Cooling off through the 80s, I think we'll be in the 70s by about 10 o'clock. Then tomorrow, our attention turns to a cold front that'll sag in from the southwest, start to give us a few showers and thunderstorms tomorrow afternoon into the evening time into Wednesday. Should wrap up Wednesday morning. I think Wednesday in the afternoon, afternoon will be a pleasant day. Thursday looks to be a great day as well with temperatures in the 80s warming up into the weekend. We'll be near 90. Turn to KCTV 5 News for the latest all day. This is your personalized update because KCTV 5 News stands for you.